today we're going to be talking about the Craig and Dave SLRs, so the structured learning records, which, which are completed toward at the end of a unit and students can create a revision bank of resources. Um, they come in two versions. You've got the legacy version, which is a PDF, or you can also find them in presentation format. The, the legacy version, the PDF version, is suitable for stretch and challenge because the inside is completely blank. It's very open-ended. Students make their own notes based on their own level of understanding, following the guidance up here. So we've got the specification points and the learning objectives for, for this SLR, which is Boolean algebra. Um, you've got the reference to the textbook and everything in red is for the full A level. So my students are doing the full A level, so they need to cover every single specification point and learning objective. The learning outcomes are also included here, um, re making reference to um, the PowerPoint, the terminology PowerPoint, and then we've got the grading section here. This, the right thing I like about it is it uses solo taxonomy um, and it refers to the breadth and depth of the knowledge as well. Um, it's easy to provide feedback to students because you can tell them here how to improve and then students can respond to it. On the back, you've got some examination questions, typical examination questions, which are, are good practice to do as often as you can. With the inside, like I said, it's completely open-ended. Um, so you can fill in um, details by hand. You can print, de print details and stick it on. I present these normally in normal circumstances as an A3 sheet folded into a booklet. So the inside would form all of the revision notes. Got some examples here of work that um, some of my year th current year 13 students have done. So we've got handwritten notes here with lots of nice diagrams, highlighting, and this would form um, a revision resource for the students. You can students can also type things out. They could print it out um, as A3 and then stick it inside, and they've still got a nice coherent and relevant section with all the, the necessary information. Um, different ways of presenting it. It's entirely up to the student. That's what I love about these, these PDF versions of the SLRs, the legacy ones. And then this one again is completely different as well. With regards to the PowerPoint version, this is a bit more directed, which is really good for, for all students, but particularly the students that might need that extra bit of support or just, just a way to help, just not too sure how to start each section. So it starts off with a key question. What are the Boolean operators and their associated logic gate symbols? So it gives the students a, a bit of a, a bit of guidance in terms of what to include. And it helps break it down for students. It's, it's, it's great with the Craig and Dave work in terms of their workbooks and the SLRs for A-level and GCSEs. The, they break down every single section for the students. So it's very clear and every single section is linked to a video as well. So students have, have a multitude of resources as well as the PG online book that, that they recommend and I use as well. Um, so each section is broken down into a key question and then they'd have the typical exam questions followed by the, the feedback section. So the students would, would tick themselves what they have included. So you can use it as a tick sheet and then there's comment and action and student response afterwards. Now these are found in the assessment section of um, the units of work that you can download. So they would come after you've completed the activities um, related to that project. So students would watch the videos, they've got all the activities. You teachers would have the answers and um, there's also a recap lesson for students and for teachers as well. So that is how to complete the SLRs. Now at the moment, because we are in slightly unusual circumstances, I, I can't print this off for, for students. So what I will be doing is, is emailing it, sharing it on Google Classrooms for students to see and then I would expect them to be either by hand or um, typed up to make the centre section. I would always provide students the PDF version and the PowerPoint version, plus all of the exemplar um, SLRs, my own exemplar SLRs, and also within the legacy assessment section, Craig and Dave also provide some exemplars for, for every single unit. Um, there's also a Word version there as well. So there we go, SLRs.
they're brilliant. Students, by the end of year, the two year course will have a bank of revision notes that they have made, that they have made sense of. Thank you.